Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Javon Keyes. VM Group has launched a new property management platform. VM's PropMan will allow for property managers, developers and residents of communities to track projects and needs. VM Property Services on Tuesday launched its digital property and community management system, PropMan. The subscription-based management ecosystem to come on stream in July is to help streamline the running of properties and communities. Maurice Barnes is Chief Executive Officer of VM Innovations. It will facilitate, facilitate compliance management and requests from the property owners, which will be centralized similar to a, a, a help desk ticketing system, which will allow you to track your requests and, uh, and hold your property management team or association accountable. Electronic bulletin boards for dissemination of information. Documents may also be shared through the platform. Invoices, auditing and utilities tracking, as well as a virtual meeting room will be available. A security entry module will also be integrated. What this will do if for persons, if you're having visitors coming into your coming to come into your particular household, you can now lock that on the platform. The security person will have access to that information. A QR code is generated which is submitted to the visitors. And with that QR code, by the way, it's a very secure QR code, so it can't even be used more than once. Once that's presented and scanned at the security, um, the security can then validate your identity and allow you access. Once access is granted, the, the homeowner will also get an alert to say that your visitor has arrived. PropMan will also add portals to help landlords manage properties in a development. By the end of July, a mobile app will also be launched. Phoenix Park Village in Portmore St. Catherine will be the first development on the system. Now on to some other news, Jamaica is looking to use special economic zones to improve its global logistics position. While speaking at day two of the World Free Zones Conference in Montego Bay, St. James, Prime Minister Andrew Holness says strategic investments have been made in both software and infrastructure to achieve this. Our ambition is to leverage these natural assets and position Jamaica as the fourth global logistics node comparable to Singapore, Dubai, and Rotterdam. We have made significant investments in improving our transportation and telecommunications infrastructure. We have made significant investments and continue to make transformational changes in our human capital development, equipping our workforce for industry needs. And now we are strategically positioning Jamaica as a globally competitive and efficient investment destination. Now let's head to the foreign exchange market. It's costing an average $153.50 for the U.S. currency. $119.05 is the going rate for the Canadian dollar. $183.95 for the pound, while it's costing an average $162.36 for the euro. The JSE index declined by 1,733 points today, while the junior market index advanced by 26 points. Among today's winners were SSL Venture Capital Jamaica, Indus Pharma Jamaica, KLE Group, CAC 2000 and Community and Workers of Jamaica CCU deferred shares, while among the losers were CAC 2000 9.5% Cumulative Redeemable Preference shares, Portland JSX, Edufocal, Margaritaville Turks and Sibony Group. And that's it for the Business Day. I'm Javon Key. Stay with us. The regional and international news stories are after the break.